fish camera. I was going to go out fishing and I am out here. I just got set up. Everything's going. I've got the camera down in the water. It looks pretty cool. I'm doing some recording so I can... I'll add some stuff up in the corner here, one of these corners. So you can see kind of how it looks. The water's pretty murky, but I can see my bait as I bob it up and down. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's uh, not that busy out here, but you can hear in the background. So I'm going to drill in the hole right now. And uh, it's uh, windy, like I said it would probably be. So I got the shack set up. I got um, everything ready to go. And I got a deadline on this side. And I'm jigging on this side here. Um, so hopefully in the next little while we'll get something. It's uh, been pretty slow. Um, I seen one fish, of course, as I was dropping the camera down. Got it set up, one went by. And I wasn't recording at the time, so um, I missed that one. But we'll see how it works. I'm just going to try and use it till it stops. I'm going to record as much as I possibly can. And i got some extra cards here, so if I have to uh, change out the uh, video cards, that we can do that. So it's pretty straightforward today. So it's just a matter of hurry up and wait like it is. Most of the time when you're fishing uh, on the ice and you're not uh, too sure of where they are, so um, I've always had success in the spot that I set up at, so again I'm just in a, a small reservoir, I guess we'd be southeast of the house where I live in the hat, so just a um, great little reservoir, so um, some big pike in here. There's some really big pike in here, so I'm hoping either to catch one or see some and have it being caught on the camera. So, so stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Check in now and then. So hopefully we'll get some fish here going. You know, that's really cool how I can see that bait moving up and down. And you can see little critters swimming by the odd shiner and stuff. So it's pretty good for the waters pretty murky so I'm pretty impressed. For entry level, for me anyways, it, I think there's one model lower that doesn't have the uh, record feature. So um, because I'm always recording what I'm doing, um, I thought getting the record feature, I think, oh, oh, there's a jack. He's, he's looking. He's looking at it. Over presented it. I don't know, but still interested. I think he's big, I'll have to throw him back. Or he's nudging it. No. I think he's very hungry. Got it in his mouth. Let's swim with it for a while. Alright. Had my drag set low. Oh, yeah, I got him. Good deal. Just a small one, but pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're on the board. We watched him come right in. That's great. I was recording it and everything. So we watched him come right in and we seen him take it. I'll give you a, a view of him here in a minute. He didn't hit it too hard. So if you open his mouth here for a second, I can get it. There we go. So first one with the camera. That was cool because I could really play and, and uh, have him... Um, see it so and have him uh, take it out so, so try not to keep him out of the water too long but here he is nice jack the reservoir here 
He's probably uh, two or three pounds, but uh, here there's uh, regulations. You can keep three, but they have to be through 63 centimeters, which I think is probably close to, um, I would say, uh, I'm guessing probably 30 inches or so, and he's not even close to that. So we're going to put him back in the hole and let him go, and that was really cool. We watched him come right up there and take that. So excellent. Away he goes. Woo! He was still pretty frisky. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, there's going. There he's on it. There he goes. There, I got him. Yes. Ooh, good fight. Oh, he's wrapped up. That's why. Excellent. it out here. Ooh, I need to beat up a little. Ooh, this is a good one, guys. I forgot my pliers. Let's see if we can work that out. There we go. Ah, it's a little bigger than the last one I caught. See if we can get him up here in the camera for you guys to see. Yeah, this one's not too bad at all. I don't think he's quite the keeper size yet, but he's a good size. He's got some marks on him. Looks like there's a few bigger ones in here because he's got some marks on the side of him. So uh, looks like he's keeping out of the way of the bigger ones. But anyways, that's a good one. So I'm just gonna let him go. <laughs> He's ready to go. That's for sure. There he goes. Excellent. I see him swim right in front of the camera, right towards my bait. It's excellent. So that's two. Smaller guy, that one. Smaller. It's all wrapped up. That's why he's giving me such a brief. Slow down, Kevin. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. Good hook set again. Pop that out. A little smaller than what we've been catching. Too bad. Not too bad. So we'll release him again. Man, they're slippery today. Here we go. See you later. Man. That's number three. Well, all right, looks like my camera is flashing there. It's just about done. The battery's just about dead. So thank you for joining me on this episode of the Fat Archer. Um, and ice fishing here at the reservoir and catching some pike and trying out this new EOYO -Yo, EO -Yo, <laughs> um, uh, TV uh, camera. It worked pretty good. So I think I got a lot of it recorded. Uh, I've been out here right around six and a half hours and it's still recording and it's still... Uh, working so that means the batteries last at least six and a half hours so we'll see how that goes 
and I burned through a bunch of uh, batteries in my uh, cameras and I got some good footage so hopefully we'll get this all put together and get it out soon. So thanks again for joining me and uh, we'll see you on the next edition of the Fat Archer.